we'll guide you through how to add shaders to the Lunar Client. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders go and switch up the lighting and add shadows. And I just think it's a really cool effect. So to go and get started with this, we need to go and get some shaders to add. So go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'm using Chrome, but it doesn't matter what you use. And we can come to a site called Curse Forge. There are other sites you can use as well. This is just my go-to site for getting shaders amongst other Minecraft mods as well. Select Minecraft and press browse all at the top. On the left, you can go and scroll down and where it says browse by, you can select shaders. Now you can start going through different packs here. You can go and click on them and often in the gallery or in the description, you can go and see what they're going to go and look like. I really do like these complementary shaders here, but there are many to go and choose from depending upon the look you go and like. In this case, I'll go and get this pack here. I'll go and press files and I'll then just go and get the most up to date one. I'll come to the right, press the three dots and press download file like so. Now you're going to go and see a countdown here. Just going to be patient while it goes and downloads, which it now has. A brief interruption for our sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out the link down below in the description and the pinned comment. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're looking to start playing with your friends, it's a great time. What you can do is go and scroll down on the page here and you can check out some of their awesome features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get the help when you need it, instant setup, a powerful panel and much more. Next, you need to go and open up the Luna client. Now you need to come over to the left and you need to go and click versions. Choose the version that you want here. In this case, I want to play the latest, which is 1.20.1. Then you can come to the bottom right and go and choose your version here. And what's super key is you go and select the fabric option, Luna plus fabric, as that is just Luna, but we need them both. Have that selected. And then what you can do is go and press launch game in the bottom right, like so. And now it should go and launch. Go and be patient. If this is the first time you've done it or it's a different version, it may need to go and do some downloads and installs. So just go and wait. It shouldn't go and take too long and it should automatically go and pop up when it's ready. Do just be patient. You may go and notice a mission control pop up I've got here on my other monitor, but just go and wait. When it's ready, it's gonna go and say starting Minecraft. I'll just double click on it at the top to go and make it bigger. Now we need to go and install the shaders. So what we can do is go and press Minecraft settings at the bottom, the gear or cog icon. Here, you need to press video settings. And then what you can do is head to the top and press shader packs. I've already got some here as I've gone and added them before, but you probably won't have any. What you can do is press open shader pack folder and we should then go and get a pop-up. If I go and hover over my file explorer at the bottom, I can go and see it here. And then what I can do is go and open up a downloads folder. I'll right click on it and press downloads. And what I can then do is go and drag and drop my complementary shaders in. There they are. And then what I can do is go and select them and you need to go and click apply at the bottom. Then we can press done and done again. And what we can do is go and get into a world and we can go and see how these are going to go and look. I'll just go and get into creative so I can fly around much more easily. Here we are. As you can see, these shaders look absolutely incredible. You can go and look at the sky. You're going to go and see the different shadows, the different lighting. 